Okay, this is Matt with Walton Gas for Fire. This is uh, a demo of our 2014 M2. I'm gonna load the machine, uh, demonstrate uh, filling up the media filter, and then uh, firing it up to do a flare off. Uh, we'll start out with just uh, you know, getting the machine set up. Um, first thing we're gonna want to do is uh, put a little. Well, if you're gonna do an engine run, even though I'm not gonna do that here today, but I'm, um, you're gonna want to put uh, something in your media media filter for uh, fine filtering the uh, the gas. So I'll do that real quick. Basically you're just going to remove the top of the uh, media filter. Use whatever uh, media you can find. Uh, use uh, chips, hay, Show you what it looks like inside. So next we got to uh, install the char bed in the, the machine. I got some uh, busted up Kingsford charcoal. Um, this will work okay for getting you started, but it will run a little bit hot. Um, so I'm going to uh, install that. Um, one thing we want to make sure is that we get it down below the, uh, the restriction. So, put that in there. Now I got the charter filled um, just above the jets.
usually don't let, like to run it too long with the, uh, the ignition port open. Um, you just want to do it for maybe uh, 30, 30 seconds to a minute. And then put that on and then uh, put, open up the, uh, the air intake port. And it's, uh, it's lighting up pretty quick, so I'm going to do that now. This is the first time this machine's ever been lit, so it might take a little extra time to get it going. Uh, we'll keep trying. See if we can get it to flare off. But, well, that's basically uh, how you light the machine. I'm going to let it run a little bit longer and then uh, come back once it's uh, uh, flaring off. Um, normally it doesn't take that long. It, it, the machine does have to get uh, established inside and it's got charcoal in it. and um, That's got to burn out before it'll uh, make a good flare. Um, but as you can see, it is trying to, trying to flare off already. So. Okay, we're back. Uh, we had to move it out of the uh, the wind here. It's, uh, I'm in Michigan, and uh, it's springtime here, and uh, we get a lot of wind wind at this time of year. So we just moved it inside temporarily so we can shoot this. Uh, but anyway, um, this is about 20 minutes after we first fired it up. As you can see, it's uh, flaring off pretty consistently. Got a nice flare. It's not too bad, considering this is the very first time this has been fired off. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the uh, previous video um, is uh, the insulation. These, even our, uh, our M-Series have uh, ceramic insulation that uh, looks like this. Um, that, that stainless steel band right behind there it is packed full of that stuff. So the machines are insulated, um, you know, in our price range, um, you know, this is a, this, this gasifier for $3,200 is pretty hard to beat. Um, so I guess uh, the next thing here is to show how to shut the machine down. Um, we do not um, shut the flare off or shut your engine off before you put the ignition or the air intake cap on. Do this first. And what this does, because you're pulling a vacuum on a vessel, this keeps uh, the fuel mixing with the air, so we want to cut the air, air supply off and let it run a little bit and burn that air off. This will keep you from having a puff back in your lid. All right. So we'll let that go for just a, a few seconds. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. As you can see, it's still uh, flaring off. We're still making gas, even though we got that capped off. The machine is airtight. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna shut this valve off first, and cut the supply to the. The blower and the machine is now in shutdown mode. So all, all the uh, air is sealed off. So that is it. This is our 2014 M2 gasifier. Thanks for watching.